I know that these rocks come off right here and there's normally sheep's head right in these little rocks. So I put a little split shot on to because the waves are taking it so much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to get down where I want it. I might have to go under because this is it's hitting me too hard over here. Um, it's hard to maintain the kayak and fight the waves at the same time. All right, guys. So I have switched to a salt donkey jig, and I'm just popping him on there oh you got me sucker coming out there like that so that's what I'm fishing with all right guys I have gotten to my spot where I really want to be and I'm gonna see if I can you know pick off some of these sheep's head um, I haven't been over here in a very long time so since last year really and that tide is really moving is a fish on already first cast first cast small sheep's head but first one of the day little small guy The very first cast. So I know that they're under here, that they're here. And so I'm going to try to make sure I'm just going to try to position myself because um, I know the tide is coming in this way so being on the back side of these pylons will do the trick what I'm fishing with guys I'm fishing with a one quarter ounce salt donkey jig um, they really produce I just can't say enough of them about them um, you know they're super sharp I've never had an issue with them they come in all kinds of colors and sizes so I'll leave a, a link to um, Jackson's uh, he's the one that creates salt donkey jigs I, so that way you guys can pick some up for yourself. There we go. This big fish right there. Decent size anyway. I don't know. He might be he might be a keeper. I don't know. On the back side of the piling though. Nah. A little bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit bigger. You know what? I'm gonna measure this guy. Just to see. I think he's like 11. But I'm curious to see how my eyes are calibrated today. Actually, he's 12.
He's 12 and a half. 12 and a half. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I don't know how tough it's gonna be to get a few more. We'll see. All right, first one going in the box, guys. <laughs> he was on. He was on. It's almost like I'm holding my breath. Let's see if we can do that again. That was a big one. That was a big one, my friend. That one made me pay the piper. Oh, he got me. Oh, it's a big one. Come on. It's not a big one. It's not a big one at all. It's another small one. But it's another one. All right, I've had two fish break me off, so I've gone up to 25 pound test. So I can see. If that's the issue or not. Now I saw that one. What is going on? I am not getting a good hook in these things. I should have limited it out already. With the, the fish that I've lost. Two of them were heavy. I mean, as soon as this thing hits the bottom, they're on it. That's better. That's better. A little bit better. Hook came right up. Open your mouth. Nope, I'm letting him go because he's too small. I want him bigger. keep dropping them right here because I know that they're here. That's 
a little bit better. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. little bit better not much but a little bit all right so that one's probably about 13 inches yep 13 and a half Thirteen and a half inch sheet get a chance to say anything these little suckers are fat but they're not big they're not big at all they were fat ones but they are not big he's probably right at 12 too Yep, a little over 12. A little over 12. Do I keep it? I think I'm going to keep it. If I can get out of here early, I'm going to get out of here early. Let me move a little bit. Another one. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. A little bit. Hook popped right out. He's only a little bit bigger, but I guess this is the size that I'm gonna be catching in here today. I mean, I lost two that were much bigger than this. That's not good. There's another one. A little smaller. They're smaller over here. The ones in my normal spot, they're much bigger. But this is going to do us well for I'm taking some fish to my family uh, so we can have fish. 13 and a half, another 13 and a half inch sheep. One more time. It's four. Hey guys. So today's verse of the day is Ephesians 4, 32. And it says, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. So this one today, this year, is really um, a good verse for this entire year because there's been so much strife and 
so much turmoil and so many people going against each other. But, um, you know, something happened to me at work this week uh, that I could have been a little ticked off about. Um, had an individual that was supposed to leave and he just didn't do what he was supposed to do for the last two weeks. He put in his two week notice and, you know, didn't do anything. You know, and I could have really been hard, but you know, the scripture says to be tenderhearted. So I chose to be kind, I chose to be nice to him. And so um, this is a, a really good verse for me today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, use it for yourself. Uh, get into the scripture because the scripture is life. There's one. This is a better one. Oh, yeah. Definitely a better one. There we go. There we go. Still just not that big. They're just, they're just fishing on my wife's rod is much lighter. It is a much lighter action. That's why. That's why you're jumping. All right. Number five. I'm going to take the hook out first. Like I said, they're not real big today, guys, but... biting there's a fish there's a better one oh why what is going on what is going on what is really going on that was a nice sheep how did I lose that thing The hook is sharp. Man. Another one, a little small one. There's one. There's another one. Produce the fish. Is he big enough to keep? That's the question. If so, he's just gonna be barely big enough to keep. I only think he's big enough. I think he's like right at 12. <laughs> Just a little over, a hair over 12. But I'm gonna keep it because I want food. They're tiny, but I'm keeping. It's number six. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a wrap. I uh, had a good time out here. Got six in the box. I lost probably about four other ones. A couple of them weren't that big, but two of them were pretty big. Um, 
it happens like that sometimes but uh all in all like i said had a good time out here uh i had to switch quickly to uh the salt donkey jig because that tide was moving so fast so i was able to locate the fish and uh while the bite was on i was on them uh, i wish i'd have got there a little bit sooner because in that one hour they were just they were lighting it up but uh like i said uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor like the video and if you have never subscribed before please consider subscribing that would really help me out and then share my channel so others can see the type of content i'm putting out all right guys i'm gonna get out of here like i said i really appreciate each one of you and remember god loves you god bless you may he keep you peace